Hey, it's Matt with Mage here, and this is our weekly tips and tricks series. This is where I show you all the latest and greatest in Mage features that I'm excited about, features I think you'll be excited about, and things to just generally simplify data engineering and make super awesome uh, magical data pipelines. Um, and I think this week is going to be really, really exciting. I think we got a great demo for you. Um, so we're talking about streaming. And streaming is something that's been on my mind a lot lately, right? Uh, Confluent Current was just last week. Um, streaming is is maybe difficult and foreign uh, for some data engineers if you're used to batch or micro batch pipelines. Um, and it's really something that's been kind of vague and obtuse in a way, uh, but we're here to make it more approachable. And so today I'm gonna show you how you can build a streaming pipeline in under a minute straight up using Mage. Um, so our engineers recently reworked um, some of our backend stuff and made it super simple to build a streaming pipeline to any destination. Uh, previously, we only supported a select number of destinations, but now you can stream data to any destination that's supported in Mage by default. So this is pretty cool. So on the right here, I have a Kafka topic defined. Um, I'm planning to do more writing about what a topic is, what stream processing is. Um, I think it's something that's pretty complex right now, but it shouldn't be. Uh, but next, we're going to transform that data. We're not really transforming it. We're just reading messages in. So if I execute this pipeline, you'll notice that we're receiving message from our source. So I'll cancel that. And now I'll add a data exporter. So if you've used Mage in the past, you know that we had a limited selection of streaming data sources. That's no longer the case. Now you can stream to any destination we support out of the box. So for this demo, I'm going to choose Postgres. We'll add a block. And I have some connection uh, variables defined. Um, notice that we're we're interpolating variables here. You can uh, actually pull in environment variables in the connection uh, settings for Mage, so that avoids the need to expose secrets or anything like that in your pipeline. But now when I execute this pipeline, we're going to do the same thing, but we're also opening a connection to Postgres and writing to Postgres as we're receiving these messages. So every time we receive a batch, we're going to export that data to Postgres. So I also have a query client here, DataGrip, which is a pretty great client if you've never used it. I highly recommend it. Um, and we're going to just do a quick select on this table. And you can see there that we're pulling in about 43,000 rows. I'm also just pulling a random number or a random float uh, to make sure we're not caching the result uh, and we're getting this in real time. So what's a streaming data source without real-time data, right? Everybody wants real-time dashboards. But that's what we're bringing. We're bringing real-time dashboards this week. <laughs> you can blame me if it doesn't work out. Uh, you know where to find me. Um, so I'll run this again. And just like that, we have 7,000 more rows. So we're reading data in real-time into Postgres and Mage. Uh, I'm Matt. This is our weekly feature callout series. This is streaming in Mage. Uh, I'd love to see you in our Slack. We'd love to hear how you're using this or if this has helped you with your data engineering use cases. Um, but until next time, uh, have a great week.